Happy Wednesday, everybody. It's Mark, also known as the Wagering Wizard, and I am flying solo today uh, as Jacob is still recovering from that double emergency tooth extraction, which sounds horrible, and uh, maybe getting an extra day off doesn't seem too unreasonable, uh, especially when you got a mouthful of gauze. So, Jacob, hope you feel better soon, buddy, and uh, look forward to being up, back on the show with uh, the both of us tomorrow. Um, that being said, I gave out a pick earlier. Uh, actually, two picks that were for the Czech Republic in the playoffs. Two plays that I really like. They have early starts. They had a noon start Eastern and a 1 o'clock uh, afternoon Eastern start. Um, so those are on Twitter and TikTok. You can follow me at Better Days Ahead, um, at B-E-T-T-O-R, Days Ahead. And, uh, yeah, check those out uh, because we got a little bit of time before, uh, well, hopefully you got those <laughs> before you see this video. Um, that being said, I still have two more international picks for today. We only got three games in the NHL. Um, so I've got two more international picks. I've got one NHL pick for the show. I will have additional NHL plays in the Wizards Almanac that comes out later this afternoon after we get some more goalie confirmations. So uh, stay tuned for all that. Make sure you got the notifications on for all of that. Uh, that being said, let's get over to the German Deutsche Ice League. And we're going to take Ice in Berlin on the money line at minus 105. This is a 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time start. Um, look, Ice in Berlin is the number two seed. They're taking on number seven seeded Alder Mannheim. Uh, Alder Mannheim, this is the second game of the series. Alder Mannheim won the opening game. And uh, it's a best of seven series. Ice in Berlin is, was coming off of a nine-game layoff. Okay, uh, Alder Mannheim had played in the first round of the playoffs. Uh, Berlin had the first round bye, and it was obvious. They were kicking off a lot of dust, shaking a lot of cobwebs. They couldn't get anything started. In fact, they gave up five unanswered goals in the first two periods to Alder Mannheim before anything started to click for them offensively in the third period. I don't see that being a repeat uh, for today's game. I just think that they, they get things together. Uh, that was a gut check game, and they're going to come out firing in front of the home crowd. Uh, I look for them to even up this series 1-1 before they go to Alder Mannheim for games 3 and 4. So give me Berlin on the money line at minus 105. The second game I have for us is we're going to go to the Swiss National League. They're also in the playoffs. Um, and let's see, Number one, Zurich is hosting uh, eight-seeded Beal. And Beal is, if you take Zurich on the money line, uh, it's, it's really juicy. I even looked at the 60-minute line, and that's juicy. I found this, though, to be very interesting. Beal, in the first two games of this series, Zurich has won both of them. So they're up to nothing. They're going into Beal. Uh, they're playing on Beal's home ice today. Uh, Beal has not scored in the first two in the first period in either of these games. Um, in fact, they've only scored once in the second period. All their goals seem to be coming in the third period when Zurich has already put the game away and it's kind of garbage time, and that's when Beal tends to score. Uh, I am taking Beal to the under 0 0.5 in the first period, and that's at minus 140. I just think that Zurich is too overpowering defensively. They're, you know, much of the same uh, as we've seen in the first two games we're going to see for the third. Um, I just don't think that they let... Uh, Beal get on the scoreboard in the first period. Uh, so those are the two international plays. I do have a NHL play for tonight, and it's for the early game, uh, where Toronto is taking on, uh, they're going into Washington to face the Capitals. I'm taking the Washington Capitals on the money line at plus 115. Here's why I love this spot for the Caps. Um, they just got done playing a horrendous five-game road stretch. Uh, on that, they lost the first two two games uh, to both Vancouver and Colorado. Excuse me, uh, who they to Winnipeg and Edmonton. Um, they ended up closing out that five game series, winning the last three. Uh, they beat Seattle two to one. They beat Vancouver two to one, and they beat Calgary five to two uh, before getting home. I I know that uh, you know in in most offensive matrix. Uh, Toronto is a slightly better team than the Caps are right now. However, the Caps have been really good at home in their last five uh, home games. They're 4-1 in the last five. 
They're scoring 4.6 goals a game, and they're only allowing 2.6 goals to be scored against them. So they're they're really stepping up in their last five home games, their, their defensive presence, and uh, they found offensively ways to get things going and, and to get on the scoreboard. That's only going to benefit the Capitals even more with who Toronto has in goal tonight. Toronto is starting Joseph Wall because they're on the second night of a back-to-back. Um, Wall has only had one road game in the last two months, and in the last game it was a loss to Boston uh, where he gave up four goals, and, uh, and Toronto ended up losing that one 4-1. to one. I just think that in, if you include the two uh, home games that he has played in in the last uh, month and a half, Wall has a uh, 3.36 goal against average with an 88.1% save rate, which is well below the league average of 91, um, and his record is only 1-2-0. I just like this spot for the Caps. I think we're getting tremendous value on a uh, home underdog. And uh, actually, the model really likes this one uh, when it comes to picking an underdog winner, which, by the way, uh, it has done correctly it, it's picked uh, Sunday, wait a minute, what's that? It picked Mondays, both games Monday, picked the underdog hitting uh, on those games for the Monday. It picked the, uh, who was the game last night? Let me check real quick. Um, oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm, I'm looking this up here. Uh Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay over Vegas last night. Um, the model had Tampa Bay winning by like 57%, I want to say. And uh, and they did. They upset the Golden Knights at home. So um, I'm riding with the model on this one. Uh, the model has this one, the, the Caps winning here at home. And I'm going to back it for some plus money. Uh, if you did see our show on uh, Monday, the NHL Betting Insider Show, uh, you would know that in the chat there, uh, we were talking about how a recent performance I had done on Saturday. I played in two bands, and we had a show on Saturday, and it went very well. Uh, thank you, Tony Harper's up in Old Forge, New York. Uh, we had a pleasure. It was so much fun playing there. Um, but I might have said that I would look at maybe coming up with some sort of little parody uh, to be played on today's show. And so part of flying solo, I did not have to run this by anybody to get approval to do this. So I'm just going to sneak this one in. Um, let me grab my, I'm going to go acoustic with this one today. Um, this is a song, it's, uh, it's sung to the tune of Zach Bryan's revival. Uh, don't kill me in the comments, okay? <laughs> Here we go. This video folks I'll give you my picks you'll make your choice sorting out the winners and dodging bad beats like what happened last night when I took the Leafs we're having a hockey show revival someone check the box score I'll update for the sake of my big survival, let's catch this ticket and get to drink and start looking towards tomorrow. Been having a whole show revival. I keep mixing up words. Someone check the box for someone. There, parody song over. I fulfilled my portion of the deal. <laughs> You're welcome, Alana. Um, that'll be it for me. We will see you guys back here tomorrow with me and Jacob. Uh, you can follow me on all my socials at uh, TikTok and on Twitter. 
It's at Better Days Ahead, B-E-T-T-O-R. There is a link in the description below. There's also a link in my TikTok and um, Twitter bios to take you to the Wizards Almanac. It's a daily article where it's going to recap these, these picks. But additionally, um, there's a paid version as well where you're going to get access to all the Sims, <coughs> excuse me, all the Sims data, the money line, puck line predictions, the goalie head to head sheets that have just been killing it. Um, so yeah, give it a look, uh, check it out and, uh, we will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks.